with comfort food that we don't have to feel like, oh, really, this isn't comfort food. This is healthy food. This is comfort food. That's totally healthy and guilt-free, you know, especially because it's getting colder already. We start to crave all of those or warm, really rich foods mm -hmm. um, that if we start now, we're going to pack on the pounds by March. So you need strategies early, particularly before the holiday season, so right. you can get through the season. Let's guilt -free. prepare ourselves. How does it begin? Does it start with a good breakfast? It absolutely starts with a good breakfast. And, you know, oatmeal is probably no surprise, but I don't think people realize how good oats are for you. They contain a soluble fiber called beta-glucan that helps to lower blood sugar and when you keep blood sugar stable you reduce appetite so you're starting in the morning reducing your appetite for the rest of the day so if you're going with that cup of coffee at seven o'clock by 10 30 you're reaching for something bad for you and if you eat this odds are you're okay with waiting till noon until you have your salad or your protein. Particularly if you, you bump it with some super seeds like hemp seeds, chia, and if it's too much in the morning for you to make oatmeal, soak it overnight or cook a big batch on Sunday, portion it for the week, grab and go. I love that portion for the week, the uh, steel cut oats, and you can make it like Rice Krispie squares. You can even eat them just like a bar. If you're, oh, I don't have time, it's delicious. It's so good. Beans, sweet potatoes, Beans. oh my goodness. And you know, I love sweet potatoes because they're an excellent way to crave a sweet tooth, but they're totally fine. These are potatoes. They are really high in vitamin A, which is good for the skin, good for the immune system over the cold season. Um, and they won't spike blood sugars like the larger, more floury potatoes. So again, keeping that blood sugar and that hunger on an even keel. So how do you recommend we, we cook those? I recommend pureed is a really great trick. You can put them into smoothies. You can put them into soups or dips. Um, but if you keep them roasted uh, and baked in the fridge, then you can add them to a nice hearty, you know, grain or bean based salad you know, the little leafy salads don't seem to work at Christmas time <laughs> no we want it warm and tasty and it does yeah. kind of feel have that holiday flavor and in always in season but specifically in season with the flavors of the sort of pumpkin spice and cinnamon and yeah, whatnot little cinnamon little nutmeg and you've got an excellent sweet tooth graving oh, man this looks like almost like a hummus but not with your typical chickpea it's a switch so this is a white bean hummus and I really love white beans because they inherently have a very creamy flavor so this is going after the mayo sour cream cheesy cravings that Hello. we have exactly <laughs> all winter long um, white beans are incredibly creamy so you can puree them with a little bit of garlic I roasted it for an extra kick sage and olive oil that becomes a sandwich spread that becomes a dip that you can use with chips or with vegetables so people that are afraid of a can of beans, you're just opening the can. Open, rinse, rinse puree, puree, or add to a soup. And this, if you want to do an artichoke dip, this becomes your base for a truly protein-rich, fiber-rich dip. You just got rid of the mayo and that cheesy Completely. thing without losing that comfort feeling. Yeah. This looks like the perfect snack for the kids. It is, you know, and we need to snack and dessert more on fruit. You know, fruit is the perfect way to handle a sweet tooth. And, you know, maybe it's not the most, you know, appealing to say, here, just have an apple after right. dinner. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. It really, no, mom. <laughs> no, it's just an apple. But if you core it, put a really simple crumble topping in. So that's just chopped pecans, a touch of butter, some whole oats, and a little bit of brown sugar. Bake it. It becomes so much more. It's like pie. How long are we baking it for? Um, depending on the size of an apple, anywhere between 20 and 40 minutes. At 350? Three, 350, 375. Okay, I've, I've met these before. <laughs> They're so Desiree. good. Desiree. So tell us about your book and then we, and so I'm gonna eat. So I think chocolate is always on the table when it comes to being a healthy indulgence. The key is you want to use raw cacao or you want to use 80% cocoa to maintain more cocoa, less sugar. And this little bad boy here is a truffle that I made with dates, with raw cacao, with almond butter, mm. and a little bit of vanilla. No refined sugar, but it has all the decadence of a real truffle. Riaz is drooling. Unjunk your diet. Desiree Nielsen, it was a pleasure to have you here, Thank especially because we get to eat these. I'll bring you one, Riaz. <laughs> don't worry.